Walk cycles are tricky. They take a lot of time to get right, and they are pretty much impossible if you don't have a reference of some kind to look at. I've linked a reference guide in the video description. In this video, we'll look at the four basic poses to use for a walk cycle, which you can then add some in-betweens to and create a pretty nice walk cycle. First things first, turn on your onion skin and your grid. I talk more about onion skin and the grid features in my free Skillshare course linked in the video description. The first pose of our walk cycle will be the contact pose. This is when one foot is on the ground and the arms are both swinging outward. Notice that when one leg is forward, the arm on the same side is back. The leg that is back has the arm forward. This is the most natural way to walk. Having the arms and legs match looks like a soldier's march. So I guess it depends what you're going for, but usually the arms and legs are opposite of each other. In a walk cycle, your character will take two steps, using each leg as a leading leg. I'm going to draw the contact pose one more time, but I'm going to switch the arms and legs positions. The next pose is the passing pose. The legs are very close together in distance as they pass each other, and the arms are bent in. I'm going to draw this keyframe between the contact poses. Now I'll switch the arms and legs to make the opposite passing pose after our second contact pose. Put just these two poses together and you have a basic robotic walk cycle. To make the walk more smooth, the body needs to move up and down in between the contact and passing poses. I'm first going to draw the body moving downward. This will be in our second frame, between the contact and passing poses. Using the grid now, I'm going to make sure that the head is still between four squares, but I'm going to move it down half a square, if that makes sense. Now I'll switch the arms and legs again, placing this new frame between our second contact and passing frames. We will move the body up next. We will place this between the first passing and second contact frame. We will move the head up half a square. The leg will be completely straight and on a tiptoe while the other leg is being dramatically bent up. Now we'll switch the arms and legs again, placing this new frame at the end of this animation. We have now completed the four basic poses, along with their opposites, to complete a walk cycle. To make this look smoother, of course, you can go in to add in-betweens on your own. And now that we have a complete walk cycle, you can go in to add detail to your character. The best way to have your character walk is to do this base walk cycle first, then add in the clothes, face, hair, and all that. Special thanks to Green Monster for requesting this video. If you have any more ideas for videos, let me know in the comments. I hope this helps. Have a swell day.